Hello fellow pilgrims. I haven't posted many videos lately. I have been working on a lot of projects lately though. The most visible of which have been a series of collaborations with Brian over at Japanoscope. If you haven't seen his channel, check it out. He does a lot of Japanese culture and language lessons. Uh, here is a link to his channel. And here is a link to some of the different projects we've worked on together lately. I've also been trying to focus on my own personal Japanese language study lately and as you know I like to share what I've been doing at any given moment to uh, help other people and to maybe start a conversation beneath the video on what other people are doing to study so we can all help each other advance in our studies. Uh, one thing I've been using lately that I did a video on a while back is J uh, Japanese Pod 101's Word of the Day Emailer. It's a great resource, it's free. Here is the video I did a while back. And here is what it looks like. This is a lesson from one day recently. And here's a breakdown to it. Pause if you'd like to study this, otherwise. Another resource I've been using is Mango Languages. If you live in the United States, there's a good chance that your local public library's website offers Mango Languages for free. Check that out. If uh, you can't get Mango Languages for free, you can go to their website and buy it. It is a really good tool. I like it because it's, it's very different than a lot of Japanese language courses I've seen. It's very colloquial and uh, teaches you how people actually speak as opposed to textbook Japanese, which of course is very important too. <laughs> um, I'll be hitting the road soon. I'm good, gonna do a trip through LA where I'll visit Little Tokyo and do a video on that and then I'll head up to San Francisco where I'll be filming in Nihon Machi or J uh, Japan Town there. I'll also be visiting the Japanese gardens in Golden Gate Park which are just spectacular so look forward to those videos. Finally um, I will be doing a series of videos coming up soon that are geared towards trying to prompt or initiate a conversation with some poor unsuspecting Japanese person that you might stumble upon in your hometown. If you're like me and you spend a lot of time studying alone, when you see somebody who speaks the languages or the language, you uh, will want to practice. So the phrase lessons will be geared toward saying hello and politely asking if you can try and speak Japanese to them and practice your language lessons and phrases that will help you navigate that for example how to ask them what the opposite of that word is speak more slowly say that again um, and some other less commonly used phrases that could be helpful in getting you through a conversation if your Japanese skills aren't that advanced Thank you for watching Gengo no Tabi. Please leave a comment in the comment box below and uh, share what you're doing to study right now. If you ever want to make a video on what you're doing and just uh, send it to me, I will put it up on Gengo no Tabi. Thanks.